Wow. Wow. Got a special treat today. Out with Deb Pascal, a female angler, excellent female angler. So we're on one of these beautiful lakes up in the Caribou. We expect fish on chronomus, damsels, mayflies, caddis, who knows? You never know. So that's today. So you take your sport fishing. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First, Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. He's a nice one. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Oh, nice fish, Don. Okay, start. that's a good start. Hey, Deb, that's not a bad one. Nice fish, Don. Yeah, nice little guy to start, you know. He's uh, he took the damsel, so I've got uh, I've got one of Brent's. Well, actually, it's uh, it's a Stillwater Nymph, Denny Records Stillwater Nymph that Brent Schlenker ties. It's oh, a gorgeous fish. Yeah, there it is. There, that's the that's the pattern. So not uh, you know just a nice size, but there are bigger damsels in here. Yeah. So let's get rid of this guy. Yeah, look at he's just a just a nice little chunky guy to start. Brought him in kind of hot, but there he is there. Nice oh, beautiful. Panask. Gorgeous fish. There he goes. So that's a good start, Deb. Yes, sure is. Hey? That's the fly I caught my fish on. So there you go. Now we got to keep put... rolling. Yeah. Let's get some more. So Deb, what are you starting with? I'm starting with a, a damsel pattern I tied to match actually a throat sample of yours okay. um, from the other day that's kind of a pale olive. Oh, nice. And I, I burned my own mono eyes on it. It's cool. Just, and you're uh, using what, eyes. type three to start? I'm using a type three. Okay. Yeah. I'm probably gonna hang. I mean, we've okay. got, it's early morning. We've got dead, dead flat conditions. So we're hoping for a little fresky riffle. <laughs> And then we can start banging them. You got one, Deb. Got one. You finally got in your groove with that uh, intermediate sink, yeah, right? Yeah, comfortable with the clear intermediate in conditions like this. I am. Looks like a nice fish. Fishing in the weeds like this. And yeah. Knowing they're on damsels, having a kind of a sunny, cloudy kind of day. You know what um, we'll do with this one too? We should probably get I a throat usually go sample. To, yeah. And see what he's feeding. Try and get a throat sample. It's not a big fish, but it's a no, good fish. No, but it's a nice one to sample early on, yeah. right? We just started. Sure. And that's when you want to get the throat samples. Yeah. This is my first fish of the day, so. Okay, I'll let it for you here. On. So it's like calms down a little bit here. All right. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh yeah, good. A good starter fish for the throat Perfect. sample. All right, so let's see this guy. Took the Stillwater Nymph somewhere in there. Oh yeah, right in the right in the corner of the lip. Okay, come on. Get to get out. It's John. There he is. Now we'll see. This is the perfect size fish to get a throat sample. Just a nice little guy. Okay, let's turn him over and see what. Uh, obviously, took the damsel. We've seen damsels and chronomids coming off. So we'll see what, uh, what he's been eating. There 
is. Sample, there's a nice little fish. Deb caught, let him go. Okay, let's see what we have. Oh, look at that, wow. Okay, guess what you got in there? Damsels. Two, two beautiful damsels. Look at that, eh? Yeah. All right, so that's where they're at. You put on the damsel yep. and you nailed that guy. So now get a bigger fish. All right. All right, another nice one. Come on, the still water nymph. He's just coming up now. He's a decent size and they've been hanging that weed edge and mainly that weed edge. That's where I've had all the hits, but they'll come in and it's random. Like they'll boil, boil, then they're gone for 10 minutes. Then they yeah. come in again. I think it's the, the conditions, Don. It goes yeah. from sunny to cloudy, from calm, flat to your yeah to your riffle. To your riffle, you know? to a blow, to a yeah. nothing. Yeah. yeah. I know. It's weird. It's really weird. But yeah. this is a nice... Oh. That's a nice fish, Whoa. Don. He just woke up. I know. <laughs> you know, when I first hooked him, I thought, oh, Dad, he's smaller. Don't worry. But now he's not bad. That's he's nice actually fish. a good size. Yeah. Holy cow. I just can't believe it. This is and you're still rod. hanging that still water bug. I am still hanging. Down, right by the weeds. If I'm catching fish, that's yeah. all I'm doing is I've got it down five feet. We're in nine feet of water. Jeez. This guy. I was using the clear intermediate, but I've switched up now. I'm gonna yeah. take a cast out the same way. So bizarre though yeah. that you hook those fish right off the bat. Yeah, and then nothing. And then nothing. I know. This guy is. See, here we go. Now it's windy. It was just calm a second ago. That's a nice fish. Do you want um, That is a nice fish. Can you land them yourself there, John? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm used to it. Me I and know. Dale. That's our rule. Me and the bulldog. Our rule is, know your own fish. And hopefully you don't <laughs> lose it. And if you lose it, tough darts. Oh, I can't believe wow, the tussle, how strong this fish is. I mean, he's not a small fish by any means. Looks to be in that three to four pound range. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? Gee, every time you think you got him, you just gotta get his head out. There. There you oh. go. Nice. Yeah, it looks to be that, you know, probably in the three-ish, right in the corner, right in the corner, right in the tough part of the jaw. There's that still water nymph again. Perfect. I'll hold him up. Nice tussle, probably a few pounds. That's a nice fish. Look at how Very chrome nice that fish, is. Don. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. What a beautiful there goes. fish. So you know that's three, three and a half. We're gonna get fish to hopefully a seven today. Yeah. They're just starting to come on, Deb. Right Let's on. get some more. Here we go. Deb. I got a mouthful of nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you were just snacking. I was. Waiting How's for it something feel? to come along. Oh, Ooh, it feels, looks good. Feels good. Feels good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just saw the boat. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice fish. Well, that's a wow. nice fish, yeah. It's a beauty. Well, and the Stillwater Nymph, would you like me yeah. to net him? Um, for you? I might be able to do it. I mean, well, I can. I'm multitasking. Okay. I'm usually quite good at it now. <laughs> I've learned. Well, that would be very nice of you, Don. I've learned that how to fish for me. Task. Oh, oh, he oh. saw that. He was, nope. Yeah, no, like, thank no, you. I'm not ready. I don't think so. There, there, there we go. Nice. Nice. Okay. What a beautiful fish. Yeah, so let you get that off there. I'm just going to let him go. Is that okay? Or yeah. A throat sample? Yeah. Good no, yeah, we go. don't need a throat sample. We know what he's eating. Yeah, he flies out animals. already. He flies out. Yeah, I see it in the net. Right on. Yeah, you can hold him up. Oh, nice. Oh, oh there. And there he goes. <laughs> nice release, Deb. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, it's starting to get a little windy. It is. Hey, it's changed on us. What's happened? Uh, Talk about it. What's going on? The wind. Yeah, it's gotten windy, so they yeah. feel safer coming out, right, to eat. And it's also gotten cloudy. That sun went away. Which is good for us yeah. for fishing. Yeah. And you smoked that one as soon as the conditions changed. Yeah, so, so now we got to see. Okay. Everybody's like, yep, yep. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, how's that oh, one feel? Fish. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, you sure are tough in here, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, let him go. He's a big fish. I oh, think yeah. He's, I think he's in that that four pound plus class range there. Yeah. What do you think? I think so. Yeah, he's the he nicest looks good. Had. Yeah, yeah. Take your time. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't want to rush these guys. Yeah. 
That's when you start snapping them so What do you think of that lock. setup? You know, what do you think uh, of the rod uh, setup? Do you uh, like that setup? Love the setup. I know, it's Beautiful nice real rod, gorgeous. I got yours. Feels I so think good. I've got. I think I've got that setup now that I'm using. Like you're, I yeah. think I got it dialed in. So yeah, it should be good. And this the, yeah, good. yeah. And you set oh. me up too. Yeah. Like, oh, uh, that, oh, damn. Oh, that's a nice yeah. fish, Don. This Holy. is a nice fish. Wow. Oh, let me get the net. This one's up. Yeah, the setup. We're still using the five feet under the indicator yeah. uh, Stillwater Nymph, Denny Stillwater Nymph. Yeah. A little bigger version though. Yeah. Yeah, well those damsels that you took a sample of were oh, giant. Oh my god. Oh wow, what a fish. Oh nice fish. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna let you let I'm him go. Try Look and, at that, that's a beauty. I'm try and hold them up for oh, you. Yeah. Okay. Hang on, I'm gonna use your coat. Okay, I got the net. Or you want the net? Um, you yeah. hold the net. Okay. Oh no, if you could just hold the camera. Oh my god, these fish I can never hold up. I've got to be the opposite way. This is not my strong hand. I'm just going to try and do a kind of a, a net hold up. I'm not going to Is the hold hook out? I think so. I think it's out. Oh, no it isn't. All right. I thought it was. There, it's out. Yeah, it's okay. this time right handed here. So. Yeah, okay. So I think hold like a shuffle camera. Okay. That's yeah, you'll have to try and see fish. if you can hold them up for everybody. Okay, I'm going to try. Okay. That's a nice fish. That's a beautiful fish. Oh, no, he's going. He's going. Oh. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> There's no way. Not with Yeah, but time. that oh yeah, that was a, that's a that <laughs> was too big for me. I think that was in the five pound class. I think so. Yeah, yeah they're starting wow. to get bigger. Nice job. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, it's fun. Well we got we're pretty dialed wow. in now. I think we've got him here. When you get your arm wet, that's always a good sign. <laughs> okay. I'm a good fish. All right, let's get another. Oh yeah. too bad. I got a good shot of him anyways. That was good. Sport fishing on the fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First, Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. Well, we had a change depth. Yes. We had to move. So we were having, uh, we were anchored in, you know, eight to nine feet of water back in that nice seam pocket. But they stopped moving, right? They were feeding on the damsels and then we were catching them and then they stopped moving. So we've gone to another beautiful area here the bulldogs up there with Uncle Teddy fishing that boat me and Deborah in this one and this guy had we've had to go but changed our tactic right so we were fishing uh, indicators with uh, the with the damsel and now we've had to go with the wet line yeah, we're deeper water too, right? yeah yeah we moved to about 10 feet so we're actually a little bit deeper <clears throat> that was my first cast in there with a type 3 because of the deeper water I love a type 3 and 8 to 10 feet yeah, eight to ten feet. I love a. Uh, yeah, love that. So let's get all this going. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Oh, gee, hit it. Now, of course, I always go to my faithful. I got, uh, I got Chan's baby Danzel. I've got my segregated uh, fly that has the brown and the green in it. But you know, my favorite, of course, is Malcolm's Danzel. Whenever I, whenever there's sun and I get a little bit of flash. I put on Malcolm Reddick's Danzel. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a good fish. That is a gorgeous fish. Wow, nice bow. <laughs> Isn't it? Look at that. Look at that Danzel right there. If I can get it out. Should be out. Nope. Not yet. Oh, man. Right there, right in, the, right in the top lip. Just tough to get it out because it's such a small fly. It's a 16 2x long that I tied on, right? But it, but it's bushy because it has a hackle. Oh, yeah, same thing. Oh, he's right, right in the tough part, right in the bottom jaw. Jay whiz. Oh, come on. Oh, he's wrecked my fly. My fly is now just battered. Jay whiz. Oh. Always using the wrong, right in that tough part of the jaw, like that is tough. Yeah. Come on there. Gee, look at my fly now though. <laughs> look at that. She's totally battered. Oh man. Yeah, look at totally hacked. Okay, I'll hold them up. 
Okay. But there's a solid. Uh, this one's uh, yeah, probably probably the four four and a half range maybe. There is there maybe five, but just a gorgeous fish. Look at the colors, eh? There he goes. I told you, nice and short. Oh, he's running at me. I think he's gone. Don. No, no, no. He's running at no, me. He's still running there. at me. Still there. there he's going. Get the heat on him. Get the heat on him. He's hot. Ah, there you go. Him. Oh, he's a good fish, oh, that's eh? A good fish. Let him go, oh. let him go, let him on go. On your coronavid there. Oh, yep. wow, Don. Yeah, I gave you the winning <laughs> coronavid. I told you, you're going to get one right there, right? right? Tight by the weeds, man. Yeah, you told me we were going to cast and that's it. That's a big boy. Oh, he just slammed he it, too. Slammed, yeah. Just, there was no question. Yeah. Oh, I saw him, I saw him wow. jump. He's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Yeah. Yeah. Hope we get to see him again. <laughs> well, just play him out like he was. He was yeah. uh, he was in that five plus range for yeah. sure. Like really nice. Yeah. I got the wind on the mic. How's your mic? Talk a bit. I think my mic's yeah, working. Yeah, you're good. Yep. Yeah, your mic's good. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's looking oh, for the anchor him. rope. Yeah, watch. To get him this uh, way. Point him I'm trying. Way. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying. Pull him. Pull him. Pull him. Pull him. Oh. He's good. He's good. Oh, yeah. Keep him get over, there. over there. Yeah. Okay. There he is. Oh, that's a pretty fish. Oh, jeez. He looked bigger when wow, he jumped. he did. He's oh, fat, he's still though. still nice. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Great scrap. Got some big shoulders. There you go. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. I mean, I mean, Deb, come on. That's oh, still a it's still a. That's a nice fish. Yeah, definitely. Fish, right? Yeah, that's, that's a great a fish. On your number one coronamid this year? Yeah, that's my best coronamid this year. And what's so, that one done? It's a size 14, 2X long. And it's the blue dun, right? That blue, blue dun? dun body with the black and red rib, you can't beat it. It's, oh, it's been my best by far. It just matches everything. So the iteration through the day, we started in the shallows with the, with the damsels, came out into deeper water, chronomids hatching out. everywhere. Fly out. Try oh, and... gee, look at that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm going to let mine go. Okay, hold on. I saw this. Okay, I'm gonna hold them up. I'm gonna try. I had you. a fish on there. Yeah. Yeah, but my line. I saw is that. You're lucky you didn't lose your rod. Oh yeah, look at. There we go. Oh, nice fish. What a beautiful fish, oh, eh? Is. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. There he goes. Yeah. Awesome. Give me nooks. Thanks for the corona, oh, yeah. Don. Yeah. First cast in there. Isn't that crazy? And I just yeah. was filming you, and I had one. Yeah. On there. Yeah. So there you, you go. You had one first cast on that so one too. So off you go. Let's get some more. Let's do it. Pretty sweet. Woohoo! Just let our wind drift a little bit. Chris, you choose the windiest conditions for me to cast in. Thanks, Don. Oh, that's that's danger. You think so? Too close to the weeds? No, no, I'm talking danger as far as casting into the wind. <laughs> oh, I know, it's tough. It's yeah. a big wind we barely made through with the motor. Now you got a nice little wind drift coming. Yeah, really nice. Things down there just a dancing around. <laughs> well, I was on fire there for a while, but we got blown off our position. Yeah. We're in perfect position. We were. I hate when that happens. Because yeah. it puts the fish off, too. I should put the tiny bobber on. I got those tiny bobbers. <laughs> That's a big for bobber. Today. That is a big bobber. It no wonder it's hard to cast. <laughs> <laughs> See, the bulldog's working that little area too. Yeah. He's doing the same thing. The bulldog and Uncle Teddy. <laughs> There's another nice fish. We're into him, Deb. Another beauty. We're into him. Well, you know what? On we've the chronomids. Yeah, we've had a variety today. We had them all on those, uh, on the Danzos early. Chronomids now, because there's chronomids popping everywhere. So. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to the bench, yeah. and you are gonna tie a nice pattern. You can decide whatever it is. I think but I'm gonna tie a damselfly. I would yeah. think I was gonna recommend that. That would yeah. be kind of cool. Okay, so let's go to the bench. Deb's gonna tie a fly. Sounds good. Welcome to the bench. As promised, I'm gonna tie you up Deb's damselfly nymph. So make sure you have these materials handy before you tie the fly. For the hook, I'm using a size 12 curved nymph hook. Thread is 18 knot medium olive. 
For the eyes, I'm using 40 pound mono and I'm burning them. The tail is light olive marabou. The flash in the tail is yellow crystal flash. For the back and the wing case, I'm using 0.8 millimeter copper tinsel. The body is golden olive gel core micro fritz. The rib is 0.1 millimeter chartreuse wire. And for the thorax, I'm using olive brown ice stub. The legs are olive brahma hen. So you just go ahead and start your thread on the hook. I'm just going to bring it a little ways back and then forward again to about a hook eye uh, length away from the, the end here. And I've gone ahead and I've burnt some uh, mono eyes out of the 40 pound mono. I'm just going to tie these in uh, figure eight. Just helps to catch it on one side first and then twist your eyes and center them after you get it on and then just go around do some figure eights make sure those eyes are in there really good you could add some zappa gap or uh, super glue at this point if you want but i find they actually stay pretty uh, stay on there pretty good and then go ahead and just take your thread right back to the uh, bend of the hook about there Next, take your marabou, and I'm just going to strip um, one side off of this marabou plume. I don't want a very thick tail. That might not be thick enough, maybe just a little bit more. One sec. And I like to measure the tail about the length of the body. Um, I'm going to be taking a little bit off this marabou, so I'm just going to tie this in. So about there, and then I'm just going to take my fingers and pinch it to length, so you can always measure it by pulling it back over. Okay, that's about how long I want it. And just never cut your marabou. You always want to pinch it off with your fingertips. It just looks better. Now you can take your crystal flash. I'm just going to tie it in on uh, one side first. And then just bring it over to the other side. Clip those off about the same length as the tail. Next, I'm just going to bring my thread back up. So next, I'm just going to take my wire and tie it in. I like to tie it a little bit forward and bend it backwards and go over top of it. Just holds it in um, a lot stronger. Just bring it right back to where that uh, wrap, that last wrap is. Now you can take your um, copper tinsel. If you don't have copper tinsel, I've also used um, like olive pheasant tail or even brown pheasant tail for the back of this fly. When Don and I were fishing, we, we observed um, the damsels that were swimming around. We could see them swimming around and they did have like a little bit of a dark back on them. And next, I'm gonna take my body material I'm just going to back my thread up. I didn't mean to go that far. And this um, gel core micro fritz is great for these kind of bodies, but you could also, if you don't have this stuff, you could also just use marabou. Um, either twist it on your thread or you can wrap it up the hook as a body or even dubbing or ostrich hurl works good as well for damsels. I'm just going to bring my thread right up to the eye. It's 
And you just take your body material and wind it up the hook. Almost to the eye. Area. Tie that off, and then you can snip away your excess. Next, just take your copper tinsel and fold it right over the back, making sure it's centered. And then just give it a couple of locking wraps. And don't cut it off. You want to keep it there for now. Now you can take your wire. And when you've got a back like this on, on a fly, I'm just going to wrap this around here. Hang on one sec. I'm just going to put a uh, one little locking wrap on this tinsel here because it's going to be in my way otherwise. When you're doing a wire body and you've got like a, a tinsel back like that, it can slip. So what you want to do is when you're pulling your wire tight, you want to pull it from the bottom, not from the top. Otherwise, it'll, it could mess with the tinsel. So just pull it tight as you get to the bottom. Make some nice even ribs up the hook shank. And then tie that off. And you can just take your wire and give it a pull your thread, give your wire a little twist, and it'll come right off. Now you want to take your uh, leg material. I've got the Brahma hen. And what I like to do is just uh, isolate the tip. So I like to measure back. I like to take my Brahma hen, measure back how far um, I want my legs to go. And this is quite a big feather, so I'm going to just take the very end of this tip off. And all I'm going to do is just pull it right out so it's not there anymore. Then I'm going to take there's two ways you could do this. You could take, it's such a big feather that you could take um, it off each side and just tie it on each side. And I probably will do that um, with the rest of the feather, but I'm just gonna pull a little bit out of the way and only put the amount of legs that I want um, to tie in like that. I could just turn the face so you can see what I'm doing. And it doesn't matter how far back you tie it because I'm, I'm going to pull it forward anyway. I'm just going to give it a couple of wraps first. And then I'm just going to pull it, get it to the length I want. It's about there. Give it a couple more uh, wraps. And you can snip away your stem. And I just took that tinsel and moved it backwards so I can uh, put my ice stub in there. And I'm just taking a tiny little amount, very, very small amount. You don't need much. It's just to give it a little bit of flash. And then just take your wing case and fold it over top. Go ahead and snip that off. And then whip finish. I always like to give it two. One little piece of ice stuff here I'm just going to chalk off. And just make your, sure your legs are sort of off to the side. That's how I like mine anyway. And there you have it, Deb's Damselfly Nymph. 
great little pattern that was working for us up in the caribou. So make sure you have some tied up for your box. Oh. Okay, I'm on this side. Nice little guy. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. There. Perfect. Flies off. Oh, is there. Oops. I was missing your head there. Nice. Let's see. Nice you know, fish, nice, Don. Yeah, nice chrome guy, you know. Beautiful. Pound and yeah. a half, so just nice. There it goes. That's the best way. Don't even there have to handle it. Well, let's keep it rocking. You know what? I'm going to keep using the crony for as long as I see them popping. Yeah. And once they start popping off, I'm going somewhere else. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First, Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. He's going, going into those weeds. Oh, he's gone. <gasps> no. No, he's, all, he's in those weeds. He went in those weeds and busted me, I think. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, the oh. cardinal sin. You lost the fly. I lost the fly. <gasps> no. Yeah. And that fly was critical. Killer. Killer. Yeah. Don't worry, I got a couple more. Good. I was hoping you did. <laughs> <laughs> Not a big fish, but it's fish. Oh, stuff though. Hey, your bobber was down. It was down. Was it's always good away. seeing your bobber go down. What do you mean not a big fish? That's a big fish. Oh, it is a big fish. That's Just a real me. nice fish. Oh, there's another fish. No, no he's got. Oh, he's got weeds on him. Yeah, That's he what it is. He looks like a bass. He's got weeds all over his head. Watch the back anchor. Back anchor. Rope. Take it behind the motor. He's gonna go in there. Oh, you're lucky. Oh, I am lucky. Oh, yeah, See, I told that. you he had weeds all over his I face. Know, but that's look a good that. fish. No question where he came from. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at the size of that. Yeah, I know. He didn't fight. You, it's a small fish. That's a big fish. I thought fish. it was a small fish the way he fought. Holy cow. That's weird. Okay. I'm just gonna see if the fly's out. I think it is. Now he's woken up. Yeah, we brought him in hot. He's in the net. Let me try and hold him up for you, Don. Oh, geez, that's a big fish. He is. He's really big. I just can't get a grip on him here. He's too, he's too uh, crazy. All right. Try to grab him by the tail, by the Trying pinnacle. to make sure that there's no uh, fly in his yap there. Yeah, is the fly out? <laughs> the biggest stage watch. Oh, I don't know if I can lift this fish up. No way. I'm just going to let him go. Okay. Here. Let him go. I can't even do it. Oh, he's mad. That's what's happening here. Well, he's so big, Choke. you can't get your hand in near. I can't even get my hand around him. That little hand. There. Oh, there, there we go. Oh, bye bye. There you go. <laughs> get on with it. My glasses. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call getting a little bit of a shower. A little bit yeah, of a shower. You got a shower. Nice fish, though. That was a big fish. That was a big fish. Yeah. Holy cow. You know, we looked, we were thinking of changing. It slowed down. Well, what happened is it went dead calm. And when it goes dead calm, the chronoms were still popping, but the fish, you know, they started nibbling. We keep saying, we kept calling them swivel heads, but they're really not swivel heads. Yeah. They're just, they're just flybys. Not I taking call them. it, yeah, not, yeah. Quite yeah. aggressive. But that wind came up. Yeah. Got a little bit of wind drift. Bam, Instantly right went down, yeah. It's wind crazy. just came up. Now, recommended setups, too. The two setups that we use today is I had the Type 3 full sink. Oh, look at the loons chasing him. No. Yeah, he's trying. The loon's all over him, but <laughs> look at he's got. Oh, the, no. He's running from the loon, but he's too big. The loon can't eat him. No way. No way. Oh, and that loon keeps. Oh, come on. There he is. Hey, he's running. For, he's afraid of the loon. Oh, focus. So, anyways, the two, two recommended setups. Of course, a dry line, you know, our standard chronomid setup. Yeah, how many dry feet line. down? How many feet of uh, leader and tip so, you got on there, Don? I'm down. Right now, I'm hanging about six feet, which is perfect for these right. guys. And you got to swivel on, too, right? Got to swivel the standard, right? We go, oh, my line's out already. So oh, Perfect. So we go down. There's the setup. Yeah. There's the indicator, the swivel. I've got, you know, a few feet down to my fly. But really, it's the fly that matters. That's that's yeah. kind of match the hatch. You know, we saw what was in them. Today, Matched definitely. the hatch. It was awesome. And of course, the full sink. So I like the type three. I haven't used my clear and trimmed in a long time because eight feet, ten feet. I love yeah. that type three. Yeah. In the shallow water, I got a couple on the clear and Yes. With the damsel. Nice 
there he is there. Look at the Very color. nice fish, Don. Gorgeous. And there he goes. So that's what you gotta have. You should have three main different setups. A dry line, type three, and a real fast sink for the deep line chronometer. Yeah. That's what I find, the three best. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting tired. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> well, Deb, thank you very much for the day. Thank you for taking me out. Was it enjoyable? Oh, what a great day we had, hey? Yeah, you know, we had the downs to start. Chronomids came off after. Yeah. Uh, you learned quite a bit about, like we talked a lot about the fly and the line yeah. and where it should be, right? And it's funny Definitely. because I've always pegged the opposite way. I've always <laughs> put the peg on the top for an indicator and that's yeah. the, totally the wrong way to go. So you came out with the peg on the top. You said, because you showed me and like, and yeah. I'm pegged on the bottom. And I, I lost an indicator right away. Right away. And, yeah. lost, and then we switched over yeah. and everything was good. Yeah. And the fly you tied, fantastic. Yeah, the, the damsel fly. fly. Yeah. And I'll do that one on the yeah. bench. And your chronomid was just hot this afternoon. That was yeah. crazy. So eh? you know what? I'm going back to camp and yep. I'm going to tie a bunch more. And oh, we've got some more, some more time out here. Right it's a real smorgasbord out there today. For yeah. Sure. yeah. Well, when you come out here, take care, conserve waters. And we'll see you next time we take a sport fishing on the fly.